Ladies and gentlemen, we have an update to our understanding of mighty healing in Rise of Kingdoms. And if I'm being honest, it might make Baba's city garrison absolutely unstoppable. So we're going to talk about that today, as well as some ways that we might be able to counter mighty healing as a garrison, along with some other updates and corrections from previous videos. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But first, what's going on, guys? Cheers. Hey, this one, this is a big one. This is cheers to 75,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, we couldn't have done it without you. I feel like 75 thousand subscribers is like that's the last milestone before 100k right like that feels like like yeah there's 80 there's 90k sure but that's just like those feel like tiny milestones compared to 100k right we are three quarters of the way there so truly thank you and cheers and of course if you want to help us reach that 100k goal you can like and subscribe on this video anyway with all that out of the way let's jump right into our first update here and this is actually an updated response from official support regarding mighty healing if you guys remember for my previous video I had to reach out to Speco so that way he could help me figure out what the mighty healing formula was because support wouldn't actually tell me what the difference is between regular healing and mighty healing besides the fact that it's just allegedly stronger but we have an update to our understanding of mighty healing okay here we see they respond and say hello mighty healing has introduced an additional calculation coefficient for the number of own troops this statement makes a lot of sense to me because if you guys watched my most recent video then you know that the mighty healing formula is based on the original healing formula with a sort of multiplier on top of it okay so this statement supports that it's an additional calculation coefficient which is good to know for example as the number of troops increases in rally garrison scenarios the healing effect of mighty healing can be more than two to three times that of regular healing once again this confirms what we discovered in my most recent video we found that if you have two million three million troops then you could be getting five six seven times more powerful than regular healing however they do say more than two to three times is it possible that mighty healing is capped at three times that of regular healing I think that that would be reasonable we'll talk about that a little bit later in this video but it is good to know that so far we've been on the right track they go on to say in a regular full strength with field troops the difference between mighty healing and regular healing is relatively insignificant but there's still an improvement of about 1.3 times and once again this is exactly what we found in my most recent video I discovered when I was using about 220,000 troops that the mighty healing coefficient was about 1.38 somewhere in that range it was anywhere from 1.35 to 1.39 it was in that range pretty consistently and here we basically basically have them confirming that saying that if you're fighting the field it'll be about 1.3 times I assume that 1.3 is if you're using like 200,000 troops something like that so we're like three for three here on the right track for understanding mighty healing the specific algorithm of the relationship between mighty healing and the number of troops cannot be informed okay so they're basically saying hey we're not going to give you the actual formula but hopefully you understand how this actually works and great news all of this confirms exactly what we discovered in my most recent video so I think that speco was on to something there I think we basically know what the mighty healing formula actually is if you guys missed that video go ahead and check it out because as it turns out according to the support statement that is probably very very close to the actual formula that we see in rise of kingdom so what does this actually mean now that we have a little bit of confirmation as to how mighty healing works and we did the math in our latest video we kind of know how it works almost exactly and we know from from support that it scales with number of troops this brings us to a very critical question okay is there actually a cap for the amount that you can mighty heal in a given turn because as you can see here and if you know this icon you know who this is this is of course Baba TC Ataturk okay he has always been throughout my entire time playing the game he's been one of the strongest if not the strongest player in the entire game of course there are other players that have similar power at this point but he's kind of like the OG okay he's been around forever and everyone knows who Baba is okay he's legendary in Rise of Kingdoms not only for his power but also for his kill points he's truly a monster and this is the number of units that he had in his city back when he posted a video on June 29th and since then I believe he went through a pre KVK training and now he's also in kvk so he may have lost a bunch of units but you can see here that he was at 1.2 billion power which is pretty common for baba honestly it's not that common that he falls below 1 billion power sometimes he does but i would say this is a normal amount of troops for baba to have on his account okay and the reason that i mention this is because this is 116 million tier 5 units almost okay we've got a couple of t1s here but if mighty healing scales off of the number of troops in the garrison and baba puts this new archer garrison on his city 
then that means he's going to be doing a mighty healing factor with 116 million tier five units and since we know that the more troops you have the more you mighty heal if we assume that this new archer garrison has a similar healing factor and bonus to healing as richard's first and fourth skills then what we'll discover is that baba would be healing about 21.5 million units on the first proc of this skill which as you can see is 30 000 percent better than regular healing okay so this is what i mentioned in my most recent video that surely there's got to be a cap to the amount better that mighty healing can be than regular healing right and in supports response to me they said that a garrison would be approximately two to three times better than in than you know regular healing maybe that means that there's a cap somewhere maybe it's at 3x maybe it's at 5x or something like that but surely it's not at you know 30x or something along those lines because this is bigger this is like significantly bigger than any rally capacity right like they would just be healing more like it would be impossible to even burn baba city if there was no cap on how strong mighty healing could be in a garrison right now of course this is a extreme example because this is a number of units that very few players will ever have on their account so it's not like anyone can do this but like to me it seems like it should not be possible for somebody to not ever get burned does that make sense like this just feels too strong i don't think this is re like this is not reasonable to have this in the game right so surely okay surely there's got to be a cap on mighty healing because that mighty healing coefficient will just get so unbelievably inflated that uh it would probably break the game now of course with that insane heal strength comes insane true damage as well but i do just want to make a quick correction to something that i mentioned in my most recent video i got a bit carried away when we found out the mighty healing formula which i do stand by and now that we know from support like i think those numbers are perfectly within range i think we pretty much figured it out the way that true damage is going to be calculated i was thinking about it as a percentage of this skill's heal strength and because this heal strength is based on your number of troops and your troops base health i was forgetting the fact that damage has two sides of the formula of course there is the receiving end of that damage and they have their own troop health right and if we look here the developers made it very clear that true damage will not be affected by damage bonuses which is huge but also your attack attribute and the defending troops defense attribute okay so it basically ignores those stats however they do not say health okay and of course that makes sense you can't ignore health because health is the stat that the game uses to determine how many units you take as sev wounds or you know this dead units or whatever and so your troop health will still matter here when it comes to receiving true damage and so once again it seems like health is the best stat in the game because the other two are irrelevant here and health is not okay so i did get a bit carried away we actually have no idea how much true damage you will take on the receiving end of this damage formula we basically we just have to see it in the game we just have to see how this translates from heal strength to true damage i imagine it will take just the enemy health into account or something like that but regardless i did want to at least acknowledge that and i was you know getting carried away in that most recent video trying to calculate damage output of this army we're not going to really know until it actually comes into the game but what we do know is the approximate heal strength of mighty healing the only thing we don't know is whether or not there's a cap and guys uh, I mean there has to be right there has to be it, it I just can't imagine that they would do something like this without capping the strength of mighty healing because as I showed with Baba it would basically make him invincible but now that we know how powerful mighty healing actually is in rise of kingdoms of course it'll depend on the actual healing factor of this new commander right and if I'm being honest with you guys I expect their healing factor to be lower than that of Richard and I expect the coefficient of true damage to be a multiplier higher than 100 percent right so I expect it to be maybe like 200 percent healing as true damage something like that but the healing factor is going to be really low that's what I'm expecting this new commander to be just for full transparency because that's the only way that I can see that they could keep mighty healing in check while still making the damage output of this commander uh reasonable and competitive with the current meta anyway with all of that being said what are some ways that we might counter mighty healing in rise of kingdoms well there are four commanders that I want to talk about in this video the first one is actually Saladin now a lot of players brought Saladin up in my most recent video saying that this kind of makes him relevant again and I don't know about that but the reason that they're saying that is because there's a 40 percent healing reduction 
for five seconds on the active skill here which is a very long debuff i mean that is that is a majority of your of your skill cycle right i mean assuming that they're gonna have like a nine second or eight second skill cycle something along those lines it'll depend on how quickly they can generate rage but reducing the healing of this new garrison by 40 percent would be insane because as you guys know the healing strength here does include any bonuses and reductions to healing okay so it explicitly says that reductions to healing are included in this heal strength calculation now what we don't know technically is if there's going to be a new debuff called mighty healing reduction right is healing reduction only for regular healing or is it for mighty healing that is not something that i've been able to test yet if you guys know the answer to that you can put it in the comment section below basically you would test this by having like a salad and hit a gajamata and having them you know pop their mighty healing uh, the 10 percent chance during a turn that they have this healing reduction and seeing if it's lower than they would expect it to be anyway if we assume that healing reduction works because it says that it works in the commander skill then could we expect salad Saladin to become relevant again well I think the biggest downside of Saladin right now is that his damage factor is extremely low here okay even when he's expertise it's 1700 to a single target that's still very low for today's meta but it's also worth noting that that does bump up the healing reduction to 50 percent for five seconds so literally cuts it in half which I think is pretty impressive looking at the stat distribution it's actually not that bad we have 20 percent attack 20 percent defense we have 30 percent skill damage reduction which is going to be pretty much irrelevant here but 20 percent counter attack damage reduction is relevant because if you remember the new commander on their fourth skill or sorry on their expertise has increased counter attack damage now is this going to be relevant who knows if this is five percent counter attack damage or ten percent counter attack damage maybe it's not that relevant but if it's 30 40 percent counter attack damage that could be insane and having that counter attack damage reduction on saladin could be very good now the other thing we have to remember here is the fourth skill will be irrelevant here for regular garrisons it's only for city garrisons which is really unfortunate i mean a 15 percent damage bonus on a regular garrison might actually make saladin relevant because it's 15 percent all damage maybe it still might not be enough to be honest with you it still might not be enough but also saladin does have a relic now um he has an extra 10 attack and a march speed and i do think that saladin will probably get a second relic upgrade relatively soon if we go through here it seems like the cavalry have been kind of like the the last to get some love here which is unfortunate we see a lot of the archers with their third tier upgrades already and even infantry has a double upgrade to like alexander the great for example but we don't have a double upgrade for saladin which came out i think before alex or right either right before or right after it's the same generation of commanders so like it is long overdue for Saladin's second upgrade here if they give him something insane like maybe you know they bump this from 10 to 25 percent and bump the march speed from 10 to 15 percent something like that i think that could be really good ultimately though you know even though saladin has the conquering tree here he has the support tree that's nice stuff i don't know if it's going to be enough to make him meta again let's look at some other examples here of course we do have ragnar here with his second skill he has a 10 percent chance to reduce the target's healing by 40 percent for three seconds so this is a shorter debuff window than we saw from saladin and it does have a cooldown which is very unfortunate but it's almost as strong and because it is an instant proc you have a 10 percent chance then you actually could pop this earlier than you would the active skill from saladin and that could time this very very well with the active skill launch of this new archer garrison now the interesting thing about ragnar is that he's leadership so he doesn't care what troop type he is he is a conquering commander he'd have to be probably secondary but there's actually a lot on his kit that looks really strong active skill 40 percent more damage and 20 percent less damage taken for five seconds I don't know if this damage taken reduction is going to work for true damage I'm leaning towards it not working towards true damage because it literally says on the description of true damage that it's not affected by damage bonuses okay now does this mean it's not affected by damage resistances as well right like I assume if you have let's say a 15 percent all damage bonus it's not going to boost your true damage but if the enemy has a damage taken reduction I actually don't think that's it's not super clear here if it will work or not honestly the way it's worded it could go either way I suspect that it will not take that into account because otherwise the name true damage seems a little bit misleading but it's possible that it could okay so in expertise Ragnar taking 20 percent less damage for five seconds could be very good again if he's secondary though 
he's probably going to miss the timing for the skill cycle of this archer garrison unless you pair ragnar with somebody whose skill cycle is so fast that you can like cycle back to him really quickly well that's like a whole topic for another video but he also gets 20 percent universal attack unfortunately third skill will not work for regular garrisons only when hitting cities and you do get extra troops but we have to remember that ragnar also has a pretty powerful relic and i expect him to get a third relic upgrade at some point right we already see third upgrades for archers it's only a matter of time before the gold key commanders get it themselves he already has 35 percent universal defense and 15 percent normal damage taken reduction which is very good in a rally garrison scenario because this is basically the white most of the white numbers that you're taking here is normal that well it is it's normal damage it's attacks and counter attacks right so if his third relic upgrade gives him like let's say you know they leave the troop defense the same but they bump this up to like 25 percent or maybe they make this 40 and 20 or something like that I mean as just a universal secondary those are some pretty big numbers even though the rest of his kit is a little bit lackluster I'm not going to pretend like it's it's OP okay it's it's a little lackluster but the instant proc healing reduction could come in handy another commander we have to talk about here is a commander that you guys might not think about when you think of healing reduction but Thutmose most actually has some strong healing reduction on the active skill okay you reduce the healing received by the current target of this commander's troop by 30 percent for five seconds so this is very similar to Saladin except for the fact that um, it's a bit weaker same duration and it's tacked onto an AoE skill shot okay now Saladin has 1700 to a single target and 50 percent for five seconds this is a thousand to three targets and 30 percent for five seconds it seems like maybe in a rally garrison scenario saladin would be a little better because really you only care about that one target but also cavalry counters archers right whereas the would be archers versus versus archers but if you're rallying with the you're going to have this 15 percent all damage which is really nice because it's you're always going to be outside of territory if you're hitting an enemy flag or fortress and you also have that counter attack damage taken reduction right just like saladin and again it's a little bit lower than saladin but if this new archer garrison relies on a lot of counter attack damage at least you're going to be reducing that a little bit and it's also worth noting that you take less normal damage eight second cooldown is kind of a bummer but the Mose historically does have a very good relic here in the game he has three relic upgrades 45 percent attack 20 percent health and he already has some stats on his regular kit right so he's actually going to bring a lot of extra stats to that archer rally and he will be reducing the enemy healing as well and finally another Egyptian commander we have to talk about is Ramses a lot of players forgot about Ramses because he's just so power crept there's so many better open field options for archers these days but his expertise skill actually makes the target immune to healing for two seconds which is by far the best debuff we've talked about in this entire video because it would just stop them from healing targets troops slightly wounded units cannot be healed okay so literally this new archer garrison would not be able to be healed if inflicted with this heal immunity at the right time now the downside here is that this is only for two seconds and you that means you'd have to make your Ramses primary and you would need some sort of crazy rage engine to make him pop his active skill before or like about the same time but just before this enemy archer garrison 2000 damage factor right it's a thousand for two seconds that's solid target defense reduction is nice it's a short cooldown really a lot of the stats here for Ramses are going to be um attack archer attack skill damage taken reduction is not that important here for this new archer garrison you have your own healing a defense uh, bonus as well I think Ramses you know he should be getting a relic relatively soon maybe that will buff him a little bit to make him a little more, more relevant I would say if you're gonna rally with Ramses I mean Ramses he's primary I just it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a thing okay it's going to be too squishy like I you just don't have no no tankiness here you know especially because you would want him as the primary to get this timing here so again this seems broken against this new garrison however it just it just the rest of the puzzle pieces just aren't lining up here but it's worth noting that his heal immunity does exist and maybe that could play some factor into countering this new garrison at some point who knows of course there you know lots could happen with these new kvk game modes where you can literally change the troop type of one commander and so you know you could make ramses a cavalry commander or an infantry commander and slap this heal immunity onto some other rally that is actually meta again the timing's probably going to miss there if you do that as the secondary but like it's something to think about okay next we have to talk about gilgamesh i actually almost forgot about gilgamesh to be honest with you guys but he was made like specifically to counter zeno and Zenobia is known for healing her own garrison and if we take a look at the fourth skill and by extension the expertise on Gilgamesh you'll see that not only does he take 15 percent less normal damage but he has a 30 percent chance to inflict the blood craving debuff on the target for four seconds 
and that makes the target take 15 percent more skill damage and whenever the target is healed it takes 700 direct damage factor so that is i mean it's basically a direct punishment for the target healing but i just again this falls into that bucket of it's like you know is this the most viable counter to healing in the game i think probably from a rally perspective gilgamesh is the newest commander that we've talked about in this video especially because he has a really nice amount of archer health he has a lot of damage to troops that have less than 50 percent units remaining he has a stacking attack buff on top of his normal attack damage here so i mean really there's a lot to love about Gilgamesh when it comes to specifically countering healing but at the end of the day Gilgamesh is still quite an old commander and you don't see him as rally or in rallies uh, very often anymore if I'm being honest with you guys like I see him very rarely and it's mainly to counter Zenobia and maybe because of this blood craving debuff we will see this make a return however it's also worth noting that like is is this going to deal damage when the target mighty heals as well or just regular heals I assume it will work for mighty healing as well because it'll still show up it just shows up as healing in the battle report right so I imagine it will still work but I mean the damage factor being 700 as a punishment for you know this doesn't scale with the amount of healing right that's the thing about mighty healing is it scales with the number of troops you have so it gets better and better and better this is always 700 period no matter what so I don't know we'll have to wait and see again this was made to counter Zenobia which is infantry and this is going to be going up against a regular archer garrison maybe it's possible that we will you know use in kvks where you can change the troop type maybe we convert gilgamesh into a cavalry commander and use it as a cav rally or something to counter this archer garrison who knows i'm excited to see if gilgamesh will make a return or not though and that's what we're gonna have to answer when we actually see this new commander coming into the game now that's everything that i wanted to talk about about mighty healing in this video but i did also want to follow up really quick about skill resets because i made two videos since the la player meetup talking about the possibility of refunding your your commander sculptures for legendary commanders right this is something that they said that they were considering for the la player meetup and i suspect that they are still working out whether or not they are going to do this i think it's a very popular implementation however one thing that we did mention because the latest update the patch notes said that you would now be able to skill reset a already expertise commander and i thought is it possible that they could possibly use this as some implementation for resetting commanders and, and refunding sculptures the answer is no the only function that resetting a expertise commander has is to relock the expertise skill now i pointed out in this in that video specifically with huo that maybe that's why they were doing this and it seems to be the case that that is why they were doing this i knew it was too good to be true i knew that there was you know it was so unlikely that they would give you the ability to you know refund or partial refund or something like that from a skill reset but i thought maybe skill reset items could be act as a currency or something like that towards another system to refund the sculptures maybe you'd have to use five or ten skill resets to refund a command or something like that it turns out that you know that was all speculation it is just exactly what we thought it would be which is just to relock the expertise i just wanted to touch on that on this video to clarify to you guys that's what happened with that okay it turns out it's just for the expertise locking again so if you regretted expertise in your huo and, and clicking that expertise button great news you can now relock it for everyone else who just doesn't care about that that is such a micro optimization i don't even think i'm gonna waste a skill reset on it to be honest with you guys they're so rare that I'm just gonna save it for something else but now you guys know and i wanted to bring you guys that update anyway with all that being said i want to know what you guys think about everything we've talked about in this video regarding mighty healing do you think there's going to be a cap or are the mega whales like baba actually going to be invincible with this new archer garrison let me know in the comment section below and do you think there are any logical counters to this garrison that are already in the game i personally think for examples we talked about are a little bit too weak i think they're a little bit too power crept out of the meta to be reasonably effective against this new garrison of course it will all come down to how good this garrison actually is we still don't have the numbers at the time of recording this video but maybe you guys are seeing something that i'm not so let me know what you think about those counters in the comment section below and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it'll push this video out into the youtube algorithm so the rise of kingdoms players might see it and if you want to help me reach 100 000 subscribers go ahead and subscribe down below and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.